Let's go continue with our PowerPoint. So let's look at corollaries. What does corollaries mean? Variations. How can this also be applicable to other sums? Let's have a look at it again. We have DE parallel to BC. So if DE is parallel to BC, remember what is true. We can write down AB over DB is equal to AE over EC. Top over the bottom equals top over the bottom. But let's have a look at the list. All that is applicable to the theorem. Now, depending on the information they give you, that's going to tell you which one to use. Let's just run through it very quickly. Can you see the first one that we know, or the first corollary, is AB over AD. Now, let's just look at what is that. AB is the whole side over AD, which is top. You see, what you do on the one side, you must do on the other. So the whole side over the top is equal to, what is the whole side here? AC. What is the top? AE. Can you see how that first corollary, how it works? Let's look at the second one. A, B, the whole one over the bottom. So it's AB over DB. What we do the one side, we do the other. Whole side over the bottom. What is the whole side? It's AC. What is the bottom? EC. Can you see how that number two comes in? Three, it says BD over DA. You see how we work from bottom? Bottom over top equals the side. What is bottom? CE or EC. What is top? Obviously, that is, it should be um, DB, that is EC. Right, so AB, whole one, over the bottom DB, whole one AC, the bottom is EC. Here we have D or BD over DA, bottom over top, bottom is CE over EA, and there's just the last one, BD over BA. Right, BD is the bottom over the whole, Bottom here is CE over the whole CA. So let us, these are, yes, that's all applicable to your proportionality theorem. But the most common one that you will always use is top over the bottom equals top over the bottom. But bear in mind, these are always or also possibilities, right? Let us go to another corollary. If it says... If a line cuts two sides of a triangle proportionally, right, then the light line is parallel to the third side. So what I'm saying, if they give you, if AD is equal to DB, right, if they give you that, if AD is equal to DB, right, and EAE is equal to EC. So what can you derive from that? Then it means DE is parallel to BC. Now I know you're going to say, sir, oof, it can be a bit confusing, but just concentrate, learners. It's not so hard. The theorem says if two sides are parallel, then the other two sides are proportioned. If you have the two sides proportion, then it means these two sides are parallel, right? And just maybe the last one that says, it's quite a mouthful, the line passing through the midpoint of one side of a triangle parallel to another side. Now let's just see what they, are, what they mean. Can you see what they give us? This side, DE, is parallel to BC, right? And AD is equal to DB. What can you derive from that? So now you can write down that AE is equal to EC 
and d e is half of that right let me just show that to you if a d is equal to d b and d e is parallel to b c then a e is equal to e c and d e is half of b c right so those are the things that you need to understand and just lastly so that you don't get confused what is the concept of proportionality what does it mean yeah if you look i have two lines there a b is six b c is four d is nine and e f is six let's just see how we write that as a proportion a b to b c can you see if to go out a b to b c is six to four you agree with me and if you write that in a simpler form divide both by two we get three to two now if you look at the bottom d e to e f at six to nine divide both by three then you can see also we have three to two so this side is the same proportion as the other one they're not equal right so it says yes although these two are proportional it doesn't mean that a b is equal to d e right and we can see it's not equal but if i write the proportion of a c which is a b over b c and i write the proportion or the ratio of d e over e f then we can get to the same ratio there right the same proportion so i hope that is just the understanding that you need to know when it comes to the proportionality theorem but i will put again emphasis grade 12 the most important part if one side is parallel to another side of a triangle it divides the other two sides in the same proportion and remember the corollaries top over the bottom equals top over the bottom remember that and your other corollaries right i hope you get uh, you got a good understanding let's go back to our sums